Okay. I am Princess Ambassador Dr. Katherine Comandante Samuel, all the way from my beloved Philippines. I am Access for Human Rights International World Ambassador and uh, Global Academy for Human Excellence Ambassador to and CEO and founder of Peace Art Gallery, a performing arts school with seven branches here in the Philippines. My beloved Philippines, Philippines has, Filipinos has a diversified blood. Meaning to say, I myself is half European and half Asian. Philippines embraces USA, America. That's why we have here half Filipino and half America. We also love China, the Chinese. That's why we Filipinos, we have half Chinese and half Asian. Okay, we call them Chinoy, Chinoy, meaning Chinese Pinoy. Okay, my own father is Chinoy. So in front of you, in front of you, this lady somewhat has a United Nations blood. <laughs> Chinese, Filipino. And that's the beauty of Philippines, the beauty of my continent. Okay, 2019 Miss Universe Catriona Gray is half Filipina and half Australian. And another Miss Universe who is Pia Wurzbach is half German and half Filipino, but we are all 100% Filipinos by heart. Okay, Filipinos are so resilient. We don't weep easily. When others quit, Filipinos will take one step at a time. We fight back. Okay, there are so many floods, as our Dr. Chris Sita Z. So many floods, so many catastrophes, so many in our country, even the, the pandemic days now, nowadays that we are all experiencing the COVID-19. But we, Filipino, take it with a smile, with a grace. Okay, we take it. We kept our swords and fight back, resilient enough. I remember this happened. My grandmother, I saw my grandmother one time. Okay, this is one of the customs of Philippines. I asked her, grandmother, what are you doing? Why are you packing your clothes? Why are you getting all these clothes and putting that to the back? What seems the problem? And you know what my grandmother said? Cut cup. She said unto me, she said unto me, I am very old, very old. I don't have any more purpose. You can you can put me in a home for injured and uh, in an institution because you see I am all wrinkled. I can no longer take care of a father of you. I will be just a burden. A burden. You understand? Then I said to my grandmother. Mother, you are not a burden. We love you. Home for the aged and those institutions are God's family.
favor. They are good. But grandmother, we want you here because we love you. We want to take care of you. Just, just be here and you are important. Remember that, Grandma. You are not a burden. So that is, that is one of the Filipino customs. We take care of our elders. We respect them a lot. As in, as in we allow them to be there right in our home to take care of them. We live in one compound. This is home number one, home number two, home number three. We embrace them. Okay? And Philippines. Philippines is a Christian country. We believe in Bible. We believe in Jesus Christ. We believe that there is God. We put our hope in God, our strongest rock that we can always defend on. Yes, we have, we have here now the new normal. We have calamities everywhere. Everywhere. It's not only here in the Philippines. It's all over the world, the COVID-19. But Filipinos will stoop down. We'll pray so hard. We defend so much on God. Uh, I know everyone here does that we are on God. That's why I would like to give thanks to Dr. Jessica for this opportunity. And I may say, Miami University learners, students, you are a conqueror. You are influencers of the world. You are brilliant. We may be different from each other. It's color, it's custom, it's tradition, it's location, but I want you to know, I want you to know that we are one. Learners, you are a seed that can be a tree, a tree that can be a forest. Grab this opportunity to learn because this is the number one weapon for today, education. Education is very important now that we are in the normal pandemic days. Pray to God and then education, then be safe and healthy. I know we are of different colors. I've said this many times. I may like yellow and Dr. Jessica Ash may like gray or black or red or Luis Fernando here may like color gray and Miss Laura may like maroon or magenta, just like me. We are of different colors. We like different colors. But remember this, we may like different colors, but we can make up what? A beautiful rainbow this time. We are one. I may be Filipina, you may be Chinese, American, or someone who's Asian, Arabic, or what? We are one. And rainbows can only come up after a heavy rain. So never, never allow Miami University learners to just stay like one color, the canvas. A canvas can be a beautiful or a colorful painting. And I will do that in front of you. Just seconds. Wow. <laughs> just seconds. Wonderful. Okay. Yes. Red and orange don't just stay like a primary color, which is red, yellow, blue, white, and black. Because red and yellow can turn to orange. And that is the color of our sunset, beautiful sunset.
So I'm gonna do a fast, fast. Okay, I'm gonna do one too while you do it. Okay. This is red and yellow. Red and yellow will give you orange. And then I'll put yellow on this. Put a spot. Okay, I will just see. This is passport. Okay, red and yellow will give you. So I'm doing it now. And then I will do the okay to mountain. Mm hmm this is a fast race. Okay, I'm having now yellow and we will turn into green. I want to paint the coffee see. Okay, this is it. Red and yellow will give you orange. Then, okay, yellow and blue is green. So it's going to be white. So it's going to be white. I want to paint the... Uh, the one uh, Dr. Sita did, then I will have the C here. The pack. Then, okay, I will have the, okay, this color yellow for the sunset. There's gonna be yellow here, yellow here, yellow, and then, gonna be fast it's gonna be fast then I will put so we can put rainbows into our world not only plain black and white not only plain and black and fast it and fast okay That's a fast, fast, fast word. We have red and yellow for the sky. We have green and we have blue. If we're going to finish it, turn to this one. Oh, that's okay. pretty. So I am grateful. I am grateful with uh, Dr. Jessica Ash. Here's and mine. With all the, <laughs> with all the beautiful we, it's a red and yellow, orange, then you have the sun, and then you, that is the beauty of the Philippines, the beauty of being a Filipino with diversified foods, different kinds of foods, and we embrace everybody. We embrace, and you are all welcome. Come and visit Philippines and enjoy the foods, the culture, and I thank you all for the invitation. <laughs> thank you so much, and God bless. God bless. Thank you, Dr. Ash. <laughs>